This is a Love Life Tarot Reading for Sagittarius from December 9th to December 15th, 2020. Let's get to it. Who is this love interest presently on our Sagittarius's mind? We've got the Six of Wands up, right? The Nine of Pentacles up, right? And the Ten of Cups reversed. This is someone who's doing a lot of daydreaming, kind of living in their fantasies. I saw an image of a security blanket, so I feel they're in a place that makes them feel secure, comforted, and cheers them up. I sense this love interest is someone with control issues and does not reveal their emotions very often. Like, they keep their emotions well hidden and well protected. Perhaps they suffered from a bad breakup in the past and it closed them off. Because I feel this person is someone who does not like to submit to love. Extremely stubborn energy here. But they cannot deny the signs pushing them towards it any longer. It's like they're finding it difficult to resist you and to resist love again, regardless of how bad they're telling themselves it'll all turn out. They really don't want to get hurt again. This person may very well have dark hair and lacks a social life. It's like they prefer to keep to themselves. What's going on in this love interest mind that our Sagittarius should be made aware of? We've got the two wands reversed. The star card upright. And the ten of wands upright. Some Aquarius energy. I'm really getting the sense this love interest is someone who overcompensates for their inability to open up by living in their fantasies. But this living in their dream world is becoming too difficult for them to bear. There's a fair bit of sadness and loneliness here. This person is trying to hide it. I do get the impression this person is about to fold in on their belief of thinking that they're better off alone and give in to this connection in a big way. This person is very confused at the moment. This is someone who possesses a lot of virtue. And judging by this person's desire for independence, I feel this is someone who wants to be an entrepreneur if they're not one already. Like this person needs an outlet for their control issues and being an entrepreneur would give them that. So the cards are telling us that this person will need a certain amount of space for this connection to work. How does the love interest view our Sagittarius at the moment of you watching this video? We got the four of swords reversed. The knight of pentacles upright. And the eight of cups upright. They view you as someone who's a bit stagnant when it comes to your work ethic. Like, they see you as being stable and well off, but that you're not being all that you can be. You're not fulfilling your potential, in their eyes. They also see you as someone who takes a lot of precautions when it comes to love. Like, this is probably something they relate with you on, or you mirror them in the same way. They do see you as being very charming. However, I sense they feel you took advantage of them at one point or cheated them out of something in the past and they're holding on to a little bit of resent over that. But at the same time, they're scared to walk away from this connection. Like walking away from this would 
be a regret. They certainly don't have a positive outlook in leaving this connection. So that's a good thing. And you are on their mind. It's like they see you as part of their destiny, but they can't really figure you out. And this whole connection has them perplexed. Where is this connection presently heading? We've got the Seven of Cups up, right? The Four of Cups up, right? And the Ace of Pentacles up, right? <laughs> this love interest is gonna keep trying to distract themselves from their feelings for you. But no matter what they try, they just won't find the satisfaction till they finally give in and give you an offer of commitment. Give you the offer you deserve. This may not happen overnight. I sense they still need to do some healing, but that may need to happen in order for this person to stop repressing their intuition and perhaps forgive you for something that happened between you in the past. I do feel you and this person had some history before and they're not completely over something that you did. But they will rise above it and make you this offer. This person is losing the strength to stay away from you anymore. In the extended, we'll look deeper into what love opportunity is coming up in this connection in the following six days. What our Sagittarius can do about this love opportunity what the love interest role is in this opportunity, and we'll ask what is our Sagittarius' best course of action following this opportunity. The link for the extended is down below. The extended preview is next. I wish you the best of your choices. Thank you for watching. And the two of cups reversed. There's a fair bit of heartache going back and forth in this connection in the coming six days. It goes from trust issues and disconnection to a soul reunion to disharmony and imbalance again. But in between, there's a moment where you're both open to accepting a love offer. This is the point of opportunity you're looking for. I think it may be around the 11th. And not just saying that because the Four of Wands is the 11-11 card. It's always difficult to pinpoint the exact time because the spiritual world doesn't work that way. And I say this a lot, but it's important to give people context. If you can imagine looking at a grassy hill and seeing every single blade of grass on it, individually, all at once, and more than that, Feeling every individual blade of grass as having its own identity and consciousness. All in a place where time doesn't exist and everything's happening all at once. That's the perception that spirits have of our world. Us asking them for time or amount is like someone asking you to come up with the exact balance in your bank account. Off the top of your head. You'd have a pretty good idea but you wouldn't know the exact balance down to the penny. So around the 11th to the 13th, there will be a window of opportunity that opens up for you to make contact as they will be the most open to receiving it. And if this is your twin flame and you share an energetic tie to them, then you'll know exactly when it's the right time to reach out to this person because you'll be feeling exceptionally good. Like this will be a time when the balance of the energy you share is in your favor, making you feel uplifted while they feel down and out and need you to bring them into balance. What can our Sagittarius do about this opportunity? We got the strength card up, right? The Eight of Swords upright. And the Page of Wands upright.